For anybody who has experienced a precision gel applicator tube, it's game changing. But for those of you guys who received it and don't know what to do with it, I'm here to show you the features and benefits of this tube and then show you some tips and tricks on how to get full functionality with this incredible device. So one of the nice things about working from a tube is it's contained, right? I don't need to open a jar and work from the jar. I can work directly from the tube. If I had a nail and I was actually building it, what I would be able to do is I would be able to squeeze the product onto the surface of the nail, as you can see, boom. And then I can control the amount that I want by slowly putting pressure on the tube as I'm working the product down through the surface of the nail. It's incredible. Like, it really makes all the difference in the world when you're actually doing an overlay or you're trying to build body. Or you can see how easy it is that I'm able to just get the product from the tube by just lightly squeezing it onto the surface of the nail. All right. For those of you, again, who struggle maybe squeezing it, instead of actually squeezing it from the tube, you could work from a tile. Okay, so what I mean by that is this. I can literally just press out a really healthy amount of gel that I'm going to be working with on the client's hands. Let's say you run down halfway through the tube, we equip all of our tubes, right, with a squeezer. So again, if you're struggling, what you can do is just bring this down and it puts pressure on the tube. And you're going to notice, right, once I actually have it on, it's gonna add a little bit of pressure behind. This is great. All I'm gonna have to do is bring it down forward and look, right? Everything kind of just squeezes out on its own, right? So again, if I'm working, from a tile and I'm having a hard time squeezing it, all I have to do is add this piece to the back, put a little bit of pressure, and as you can see, look at that, as I put the pressure down, it almost squeezes out on its own. So what I'm doing right now is making sure that I'm putting enough gel onto the tile to build my full set, right? And then again, when I want to relieve the pressure, I'm just gonna bring it up just like that take a little bit of pressure off the tube, and then what we can do is we can tighten this back up, right? So having this on the back end, having this on the back end is gonna make all the difference, especially when your gel is running low inside your tube. Add the squeezer, and then what this is going to do is alleviate the pressure of squeezing so hard on the tube when you're trying to release it onto the top. Okay. Let's say after weeks of working, you build up a little bit of residue around the nozzle. Okay, well, what you can do is you can take a little bit of swipe, right? And if you notice that when you open up your nozzle, there's a little bit of residue that has built up around the threads, just like this. What I'm going to do is take a little bit of swipe and I'm just going to clean off the gel residue around the threads right, so that it's all removed, right? So all I'm doing is taking a wipe, coming through, a little bit of swipe, and then cleaning off all the residue around here. And what that's going to do is kind of clean the surface. And again, if you have some inside your cap, you could do the same thing. You could just run, right, a lint-free wipe around the nozzle edge, just like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to clean up all of the buildup around the edges, right? So that you have a nice clean surface to work from. And last but not least, if you love working from the tube like myself, right? What I would recommend to have controlled application is 
when you squeeze it onto the surface, treat it like a brush, right? Squeeze it on, lightly move it into place, and notice that when I get around the cuticle area, right, for me to cover the rest of the body, all I'm gonna do is lightly squeeze and keep contact from the surface as I continue to float down the body. What we wanna be able to do is float, light contact all the way through, continue squeezing, continue squeezing. Get really light contact all the way through and you're going to notice how easy and fast it is for you to work from one end to the other without ever having to go into a jar. I hope this helps. Enjoy working with the Precision Applicator. It's going to make your gel life a lot happier. Thank you so much for watching our nail videos. To watch more, head right over here. And to subscribe to our channel, click right over here.